first down, and Danny Cannell will drop back into the shotgun. Four wide receiver package for the Knowles. Flares it out here to Dunn. And Dunn, downfield, wanted Ellison's got it on a ricochet. The Knowles are going to score. I can't believe it. Ellison's got it on the ricochet. Touchdown. Bobby Bowden just said, Steve Spurrier, I got some of those myself. <laughs> Warwick Dunn was a high school quarterback part of the time before he became a running back. He threw a live drive spiral like a good quarterback. There was, I believe, folks, a little bit of an excess celebration down there in the end zone. No more than 35 or 40 Knowles were celebrating with Ellison. So as expected, the Zebras are into the act, and they will assess the celebration penalty on the kickoff. And all I can say about that rule is give me a break. Now here comes Maori for the extra point. You know, the play didn't actually break the discipline of the defense. The receiver just took it away from the defender. Extra point is at. And now we go back to take a look at the 73-yard touchdown. This is the longest touchdown pass in Sugar Bowl history. And Double Warwick pass Dunn right throw it. And Warwick Dunn, the high school quarterback, and he got lunch right as he threw it. Outstanding concentration by Omar Ellison. He has outstanding speed as well as he demonstrates right there. And he really is starting to enjoy what he just accomplished. Now, I want to watch as Ellison goes into the end zone, snatches the ball away, Dances in ahead of right. And then after that, there will be the celebration. This one might have been called on the cheerleaders. 